Francois, welcome to the virtual side. Thank you for having me here. Now, synchronization has been a challenging place for developers for quite some time, and now you have some exciting news around the Microsoft Sync framework. Please, what's that all about? Well, you know, today we actually announced the first CTP of the Microsoft Sync framework. And if we actually step back for a moment and talk about the broader investment that we're making in data, we call it the data platform. You know, organizations are collecting more and more data than ever before. It's structured data in databases, unstructured data such as documents, and they're sitting on servers, devices, PCs, and it's essentially a data explosion, data chaos. And what we want to do is really provide a whole infrastructure from the birth to archival of data so organizations can manage that data. That means providing uh, management of all of the data, whether it's structured or unstructured, and providing a rich set of services that operate on that data. So think of integration services, reporting services, analytical services, query services. And today, with the Sync framework, we're extending that data platform to enable rich synchronization of any data on any device through any protocol so that developers can really enable that new scenario and ensure that data is synchronized seamlessly across data at all tiers, anywhere it belongs. So tell me more about you know, why Microsoft's maybe the first company to be doing this and, and how we see scenarios actually being implemented. Well, we really want to make synchronization a core part of any developer application. And there's really two core scenarios that we've thought about when we were developing the Sync framework. The first is about offline, and the second is about collaboration. If you think about offline, a lot of us are working you know, disconnected from our network, whether we're on a plane or we're in a meeting. Um, and how do you enable that scenario where you can make changes to your application or to your data offline, and then as soon as you get a connection, that data seamlessly moves through to your server? Think of the Outlook and Exchange scenario. How can developers enable that same type of scenario with their own applications? And so that's the first side. The second side is around peer-to-peer -peer collaboration. You have two different applications or two different sets of data that you want to seamlessly synchronize together. How do you do that? It's really hard work. You have to think about change tracking and conflict detection. Well, with the Sync framework, we're essentially enabling any developer to provide that type of functionality directly in the application in a way that's easy to use, not dependent on protocols, data sources, and really extends the value of their applications. So from a developer and a developer organization's perspective, you know, where do they go to get started? First place, msdn.microsoft.com slash sync, S-Y-N-C. There's a lot of information there, including the download of the first CTP of the Sync framework, white papers, data sheets, samples, all that information is available um, on MSDN. Excellent stuff. Thank you very much for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you.